there are various other i devices that you can explore let us take a look at a few of them case study this i device lets you add a case to the course you can add the details of your case or article in the story box then add an activity or a question in the activity box the feedback can be added in the feedback box you may choose to add another activity on the same page after you have finished adding the details in your i device click on done the i device will be added to your course when the users click on show feedback the feedback will be revealed now let us take a look at another i device external website the external website i device allows you to attach an external website to your content this feature allows learners to browse the external website without the need to open a new browser window add the url of the website in the url box and then click on done the image magnifier allows the learner to view parts of an image in a magnified state you can add a caption for your image add introduction text then choose an image that you would like to display and magnify when you click on done your image will be displayed as shown here the learners can alter the size of the magnifying glass and click on the image to magnify a certain part image gallery this i device allows you to add a gallery of images to your course you can add as many images as you like by clicking on add images then when you click on done the images that you had added will be displayed in the image gallery the java applet i device allows you to load simple java applets into the exe content there are various other i devices that you can explore and use in your exe package try exploring a number of these i devices to see how they work now that we have been introduced to different types of i devices let us take a look at a few features that are common for all types of i devices let us take a look at how to delete an i device from a page or move it from one page to another for example if you would like to delete this i device click on the edit button you will arrive at the editing mode of the i device in case you want to delete only one particular option its feedback and its hint then click on the red cross mark below the feedback and hint box for that option if you would like to delete the complete i device then click on the red cross mark below all the questions a pop up will appear asking if you would really like to delete your i device click on okay your i device will be deleted from the page now let us take a look at how to move an i device from one page to another for example to move this i device to another page click on the edit button below the i device you will see a drop down arrow 
for move to click on it select the page where you would like to move your i device your i device will be moved to the page you selected if you go to that particular page you can see your i device there click on done to keep your i device on that page you can see that the i device that you have moved has been placed below the i device that was already existing on that page to change the order of these i devices go to the edit mode below the i device you can see two arrows one to move up and one to move down to move this i device above the first one click on the move up arrow then click on done you can see that the i device that you had shifted from another page has now been moved above the i device that already existed there exe learning allows you to edit an existing i device or create a new one as per your preferences let us take a look at how to create a new i device if you would like to edit a particular i device or create a new one go to tools and select i device editor the i device editor box will open to edit an existing i device click on the drop down arrow in the edit box select the i device that you would like to edit if you would like to create a new i device select new i device in the edit box add a name for your i device you can add a pedagogical tip here this tip enables other users to identify the pedagogical use of this i device if you would like to add an icon for your i device go to the emphasis drop down box and select some emphasis click on select an icon in the pop up that opens select an icon for your i device then you can select if you would like to add a text line to your i device a text box or a feedback box you may choose to add all three if you select text box you are given an option of adding a label for your text box once you are done with creating your i device click on preview If it looks okay click on save Your i device has now been saved Close the i device editor box The i device that you just created will be added to your i device list You can select it to use it in your course